Gary's with us in San Diego to start off this hour. Hi, Gary. Welcome to the Ramsey Show. Hi, Dave. Hi, George. Great to talk to you. Thanks for taking my call. Sure, man. What's up? I've got a two-part question. The first is uh, about incorporating um, uh, sinking funds into the Every Dollar app for, for budget. When you do a sinking fund versus just having a fluctuating budget. And the second is about market stability. So I'm um, uh, Baby Step 7 uh, EDM. Uh, make way more than I spend monthly, and I'm, I, my wife and I have been using every dollar inconsistently, but we're really focused now. And there's uh, things like um, uh, car insurance, things like that, um, property taxes that are several thousand dollars. That I'm wondering, do you do you set those aside monthly in your budget, or if you have the money, do you just do it every six months or every, every year? So that's the first part of my question. And then secondly, I know you're friends with. Um, Glenn Beck, and he's talking a lot about this great reset and, and everything. I'm wondering if you have any concerns over the market and alternate strategies like he does. Do, do you have crazy friends? <laughs> <laughs> I've got a few crazy friends. Glenn's one of them. I okay. love Glenn, and he's completely out on a plank. I mean, he, he does this every two or three years. He predicts the end of the world. And um, I made a rule when I went on radio, I'm not going to predict the end of the world. And if Glenn's going to predict the end of the world, he and I are going to be friends that disagree. So, no, I, I don't think that the uh, world is coming to an end. Um, uh, you know, if it does, then it will. But I'm not going to I'm not adjusting my investments. And I never have in any of the crises and the geopolitical upheaval that there has been. I've always just kept investing and kept investing and kept investing. And those are the only ones that get hurt on a roller coaster are those that jump off in the middle of the ride. So, George, what uh, about well, sinking funds? Well, I was just going to mention on that part, on top of uh, not getting hurt on the ride, you also kept your sanity. And that's an important part of this equation. Well, you're suggesting maybe Glenn didn't. No, I'm kidding. We love Glenn. I'm kid we joke all Big the fan. time. He is a great guy. He's a wonderful person. I mean, I really like him. Uh, but he just he gets crazy sometimes, man. And this end of the world prediction stuff is one of those times. So I sleep better at night without yeah, having he, to worry he about went that. off on the gold run a few years ago, getting everybody on the gold and of course you know I don't do that, so I got a lot of friends that I really love them and respect their intellect but disagree with their ideas. And yeah. so that's all this is. Sinking funds. Let's talk about that. I'll tell you how I do it in my personal every dollar budget, and Dave can tell me I've been doing it wrong all these years, but I have a I have a whole category called funds. That's and wrong. No, I'm kidding. I, I just list them all out, and I divide it by 12. So I pay all my insurance premiums yearly because it saves money, and so if it's 600 bucks, I go, all right, got to put 50 bucks in that sinking fund category every month. And that's going to get set aside in my account so that when that time comes, the money comes out and I didn't bat an eyelash. Here's the, the sinking fund, a little miniature savings accounts to cover Christmas because it comes every year in December. They don't move it. So you got to get ready, right? So a Christmas club account, it's just built into your budget is all. Now, Gary, I do want to, that's exactly how I would do it. 99% of the time. I want to acknowledge though, that you said you're an everyday millionaire. You have a huge income. You're completely debt free on baby step seven. So you've got substantial cash flow. What's your household income? So um, it's different this year. So I, I'm uh, retired, and my um, take-home retirement guaranteed income uh, gross is fifteen thousand a month, and I have a, a okay. So if you have career. a if you have a four thousand dollar item that pops up once a year, you just put it in your budget, right? So, yeah, you don't have to question. save do up. I, do I need to you don't have to save up for Christmas making $15,000 a month. You can just go freaking by Christmas. Right? Got it. Yeah, that, that's what I was yeah. thinking. Yeah. You put that in the budget. That's what you do when you get to this level. Now, the, the purpose of having the sinking fund is not to nerd out on every detail. It's to not have an expense sneak up on you that leaves you without food money that month. Because you got, oh my God, I got to pay my property taxes. I have no money, and I haven't saved up any to get ready, and they're due, you know. But in my case, you know, we're obviously baby step seven people too, and so I don't have a sinking fund for my property taxes. I just write a check when it comes up because I can fit it into my income like you can, Gary, and so you don't have to do the sinking fund. But if you've got something that's big enough that you experience an ouchie, you know, it's like ah. When that, when that hits in your monthly budget, then you probably should have saved up some to get ready for it with a little miniature named 
savings account, we call them sinking funds. And it helps to know when those are coming up because sometimes you're like, I don't know when my premium comes out every year. So yeah. it's good to have that and have the dates. But like you're saying, you've got a buffer in the checking account when you get to a place like Baby Step 7. But until you're out there like that, I mean, when you're in Baby Steps 1 through 6 and all and you're still fighting to pay off the house, you're, you're still, you're not running with big lumps of cash laying around. I mean, you've, you're running it. All those, ca- all those dollars have names and they're going everywhere. You need to use sinking funds in that case. Absolutely. Always. And the classic one is, oh, I had to run Christmas on a credit card because I forgot it was in December, you know, and it snuck up on me. Like, they move it. They don't move it. So that's that's what that's about. But, um, but man, you've obviously done a wonderful job. Congratulations, Gary. Very that's well amazing. done.